Dogs and people had a unique, centuries-old relationship that has given them the moniker man's best friend. Yet, according to international study and analytics, people still have distinct preferences about the canine companions they enjoy having the most and least. In a series of 10 head-to-head -head comparisons, sources have developed research and analytics to determine which breeds are the most and least popular. The results revealed which breeds are the most and least popular. The Labrador Retriever, German Shepherd, and English Bulldog are well-known breeds. These canines are prevalent and consistently appear at the top of any list of the most popular dog breeds in the world. How about the least well-liked dog breeds? The ones you've never seen or even heard of? Why don't those ever get put on a list? All of that is going to alter. Today we'll examine the world's rarest and least popular dog breeds. Make sure to watch till the end and subscribe for more. Here we begin. Number 5. Harrier In terms of size, the Harrier falls between the English Foxhound and the Beagle. They are perfect for prolonged, arduous work since they have massive bones and are incredibly muscular. Unfortunately, these days, long, physically demanding activities aren't very popular, so perhaps it's not surprising that the population of these dogs is declining. The Harrier is a smaller version of the English Foxhound. Adult Harriers weigh between 4 to 5 and 6 to 5 pounds and stand between 19 and 21 inches tall at the shoulder. They come in various color patterns, have short hair and drooping ears, and shed sometimes, despite being similar to an English Foxhound. A Harrier is often described as a beagle on steroids. In lighthearted contexts, it has a tiny, rough coat and is a powerful hunting hound. Large bones provide strength and endurance. The Harrier has a flat top line and is slightly taller than it is long. Medium length, carried high, and not curled over the back is the tail. The snout is robust and square, and the head is wide. The eyes are either brown or hazel, and the rounded ears are pendant, having a broad black nose. When the dog is calm, his look is peaceful, and when he is aroused, it is alert. The teeth should come together at a level or scissors bite. The front toes may bend inward, and the feet are narrow and cat-like. That's unfortunate, since they are kind and devoted, not to mention excellent with children. They get along great with other dogs, but you shouldn't put them in a house with smaller, non-canine pets, since they can never completely suppress their hunting nature. Number 4. Otterhound. Otterhounds are genuinely unusual canines. They have oily coats, webbed feet, and strong snouts that enable them to pursue their prey for up to 72 hours across mud and water. They were bred to hunt both on land and in the water. The Otterhound is a large hound with a rough coat and a commanding head. It was originally developed for hunting and had a powerful physique and big striding strides. This enables it to carry out protracted hard labor. The otter hound is a kind of hound that pursues its prey both on land and in water. It has a variety of traits that make it differ from other hounds, most notably an oily, rough, double coat and large, webbed feet. In addition, they have a nose that can track for more than 72 hours in dirt and water. Otter hunting has a long history, dating back to the early medieval era and being mentioned as early as 1360. However, the Otterhound's history as a separate breed dates only as far back as the early 1800s. Due to the sharp drop in otter populations, the otter was added to the list of protected species in Britain in 1978, which led to the end of otter hunting. The otter hunts stopped hunting voluntarily since they noticed the sharp decline in otter populations and alerted the authorities. It was never outlawed in Britain. There were still nine certified otterhound packs around in 1977. The breed has a little over a 10-year lifetime on average. Most people will leave between 12 and 15 years. It is known that one dog, at least, survived to be 16 years old. Although the otterhound gets a lot of activity, it may also be a couch potato. Although they make fine family dogs, they should be kept in a safe area since they can jump fences up to 5 feet high, though they rarely do. The otter hound is typically a healthy breed despite having a tiny gene pool, although it has many of the same issues as any large, fast, developing dog. These large puppies weighing 80 to 115 pounds are quite athletic when they want to be. This breed can handle most athletic tasks, but their preferred pastime is probably cuddling up next to you for a few hours in front of the TV. Number 3. English Foxhound The English Foxhound is a majestic canine that resembles an enlarged beagle and leaves for the hunt. But, of course, there isn't much need for their services anymore, considering that fox hunting has mostly lost popularity. 
English Foxhounds must meet the breed standard's height requirements, which range from 20 to 27 inches at the withers. The snout is long and the skull is thick. The paws are rounded, almost cat-like, while the legs are robust and straight bone. Any hound color, most frequently tricolor, tan, red, or black with a white foundation, is available in the English Foxhound. The English Foxhound likes Stuman company and gets along well with other dogs because it is a pack hound. Being a calm, friendly, and tolerant breed, it gets along well with horses, kids, and other pets. It is an energetic breed that likes to follow foxes and has the endurance to run non-stop for extended periods. Unfortunately, these canines don't have more success finding homes. Even while we're happy they aren't frequently employed to discover innocent foxes anymore, they are very wholesome, kind to of children and other animals, and adore spending time with their owners. To us, that sounds like a nice puppy. Number 2. Commodore If you are familiar with this breed, you probably prefer to refer to them by their solitary name, the Commodore. The long corded coats of these Hungarian sheepdogs give them the appearance of enormous mops with noses. The Commodore dog breed, sometimes known as mop dogs, is a well-known one frequently used to protect cattle and other types of property. The Cumans brought the Commodore to Europe, and its first written record dates to a 1544 Hungarian codex. As a result, Hungary has designated the Commodore breed as one of its national treasures to be safeguarded and protected against alteration. The Commodore has the longest, thickest, and most impressively corded white coat in the canine world, measuring 20 to 27 centimeters long and resembling dreadlocks, or a mop. The coat of the dog is fluffy and velvety. The puppy's weighty coat will eventually curl as it ages. It takes around two years for the soft undercoat and coarser outer coat to organically combine to produce tassels or cords, which is how a completely mature coat is created. To prevent the dog from becoming a huge matted tangle, some assistance is required to separate the cords. As the coat lengthens with time, the cords get longer. Given how much maintenance the coat demands, it could be one of the reasons why these dogs aren't more well-liked. However, if you're concerned about your family's safety, you should consider taking one home because this is a calm, patient dog that won't put their lives in danger to protect the people they love. Number 1. New Guinea Singing Dog Nobody has a New Guinea singing dogs, since they are such an uncommon pet. However, exclusively 200 to 300 of these creatures, which are thought to be the rarest dogs in the world and only found in conservation facilities, are thought to be living today. Tim Flannery, an Australian mammalogist, photographed a black and tan dog in Telefamon District in 1989. He said that wild populations existed in the alpine and subalpine meadows of the Star Highlands and the Wharton Range, where these canines lived with Aboriginal people in the mountains. Tom Hewitt, an Australian outdoor adventure leader, captured this image of a tawny, thick-coated dog in West Papua, Indonesia in 2012. However, a study of the literature from 2016 revealed no conclusive proof that the original singing dogs of New Guinea were wild animals. Instead, they were reared as community populations of domestic dogs. Nevertheless, it's probably best because these creatures leave up to their reputation. But unfortunately, since these dogs cannot sing to save their lives, we doubt your neighbors will be pleased to hear that you're bringing one of them to reside in the upstairs flat. The dog breeds on this list may not be well known, but they are wonderful canines that deserve greater recognition than they now have. Although some of them could be difficult to locate, these breeds will make wonderful friends for you and your family if you can. Additionally, getting one of these breeds enables you to act snobbishly against all the other families that own simple golden retrievers or poodles in your area. Let us know your views in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe for more uploads like this. See you soon.